What's up, everyone? How you guys doing? Welcome to episode 784. And I'm going to take the first segment of the episode and talk about this news article that was put out and it had to deal with Sonny Barger, his passing. And it was a total hit piece. It was a total abomination of opinion and editorializing an event that I have ever seen. I've been watching how the media has been reporting on his death, and this one is just pure, pure pitiful. I couldn't stand it, but I read it, and I was like, you know what? She was putting all kinds of examples of what the Hells Angels supposedly done, and I said, I'm going to take this a step further. For all those that are not in a club and buy the cheese, if you will, of uh, what this media is saying, what the cops are saying, I'm going to take it a step further. And I'm going to prove to you and shoot it back at you and see what you think about these allegations. It does get time. This is a legend. No matter where you fall on the MC set, you cannot take that away. He was a legend. Yeah, he had a pass. Everybody has a pass. Everybody does something they are not proud of. But he lived his life the way he wanted to live. Just like members of all motorcycle clubs. That's the ultimate goal, isn't it? To live life to the fullest and do it on your terms without anybody telling you how to live it. Yes, I'm upset about this one. And what I'm hoping is my followers, my subscribers, will email her and tell her you're wrong. That's the only way to push back on somebody like this is you're wrong. Where is your evidence for your statements? Clubs are not Boy Scouts. We all know that. Sonny was no Boy Scout. We know that. But they made life the way they wanted to live. And if it ain't up to your standards, oh well. It's kind of like when these celebrities, they want to pop off at the mouth. And you actually have people that believe them, by the way, or, you know, take in what they have to say. Me, I don't care what you have to say. Your opinion means nothing to me. But there's ignorant people that jump on the bandwagon. And then they make it even worse. And I'll show you some of the comments from this article. Let's take a look. Now, this right here is from Jalopin. What is it? Uh, Jalapnik? Whatever the hell it is. And. They intentionally titled this article, Hell Has Another Angel After Biker Gang's Most Notorious Member, Sonny Barger, Dies at 83. You know what I find funny? I really do. And I, you know what? I believe in the old man upstairs 120,000%. But those that are supposed to rent, you know, represent him, here on good old earth, how quick they are to judge other people, even though he said, you shall not be judged. Or did I mess that up? Or ye shall not judge. I don't know. What I do know is, only God can judge you. So here you are saying, well, he's in hell. How do you know? What relationship he had with the old man upstairs? How do you know he didn't get right with his maker? But you can claim to be 
holy, 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 right? That ain't how it works. This by Aaron Marquis. And this is the author of this one, Aaron Marquis. Uh, I guess she is on Twitter, or you can email the paper. Aaron Marquis. Now, she was going off a lot of what Hunter Thompson had to say in his book, The Strange and Terrible Saga of Outlaw Motorcycle Gang. Then it goes into, you know, his basic stuff. Then she was taking quotes out of the book and what he would have to say. Basically, that's what happened. Taken out of the book and then writing one or two or three words. But here's what got me at the end. Here's what got me at the end. Barger may have cultivated a counterculture criminal mystique for the media nobody needs to create a mystique for the media they do it themselves but make no mistake he and his fellow angels were often the purveyors of violent sexual assault and other criminal misdeeds and innocent people suffered for it and get this my own dad was robbed at gunpoint and left tied up in his empty apartment by a bunch of Hell's Angels when he was living in Long Beach, California in the 70s. Broke, he was forced to join the Navy, a fate he would wish on absolutely no one. So you're saying he was embarrassed for serving his country? Oh, I forget. That's what a lot of people in California do. Purveyors of violence, sexual assault, and criminal misdeeds, and innocent people suffered. Let me turn you to what I always say. For everything you claim a member of a club does, I can find you something where a cop does the same thing. Here we go. Let's start it. Your sexual uh, assault uh, deal. Trumbull Police Sergeant, yes, such a sergeant, former Shelton Fire Captain charged in sex assault. He wasn't a Hells Angel. He wasn't a member of a club. He was a cop. And it does uh, sadden me, guys, because I do support firefighters that I have to bring this one up. But hey, it's the most recent one. Two volunteer members of a local fire department, including one who is a Trumbull police sergeant. Police sergeant has have been arrested in connection with the 2020 sexual assault. Bumble Police Sergeant uh, Matthew uh, Perkowski is accused of slapping the woman so hard during the assault, one of her eardrums was ruptured, and she had trouble hearing afterward, according to the arrest of Warren. The victim also suffered from multiple bruises and bite marks during the assault. And then... The nerve, the lawyer said, the sergeant said the encounter was 100% consensual. Damn, she must have been a freak then, didn't want to get beat up and stuff. There's one. Here it is right here. His a fellow angels were often uh, purveyors of sexual assault and violence. I told you for everything that you claim a club member does, I can find a cop that did the same thing. It's individuals, not the entire club. So, would you say the whole Trumbull Police Department's at fault for this? Are they purveyors of violence? Because of one? Double standard. Now, two Boston police officers facing charges for domestic incidents. 
This was just updated uh, in, uh, on the 14th of June. Boston police are investigating two off-duty officers who were arrested for assault and battery after domestic incidents with family members. Walter Suppry, who has been a Boston police officer since 2008, was arrested by Danvers police for assault and battery on a household member after a domestic incident with a family member. Andrew Blake, who has been with the Boston Police Department since 1998, was arrested by Boston Police Domestic Violence Unit for assault and battery. Violence. Now, you talked about armed robbery, and you talked about something from the 1970s. Metro police officer suspected in real armed robbery. Metro police officer is suspected in at least one armed robbery and possibly two more. Sources told the I team that officer Caleb Rogers is in custody. He is assigned to community police and division Bolden area command. Police officers arrested Rogers following a reported robbery at the Rio Hotel and Casino Sportsbook near the Las Vegas Strip just before 7 a.m. He was transported to Clark County Detention. He could, uh, they also tell uh, I-Team he could be linked to uh, armed robbery at Red Rock Casino and an armed robbery near Lanti. <laughs> there you go there's your arm robbery same thing that you throw on the hills angels and this supposed criminal mystique for the media they didn't throw that mystique they didn't try that they wanted to be left alone just like everybody does the media like your article Puts this crap out there. Here we go with one more I'm going to show you. Violent history. That's what you said about the Hells Angels. Auburn police officers. Violent history could be used against him in court. Auburn police officer Jeffrey Nelson's history of violence against members of the Auburn community may be allowed in his trial for the assault and murder of Jesse Sari in 2019. Murder by a boy in blue. During a pretrial hearing on June 29th, prosecuting attorney Mark Larson discussed several instances in which Nelson used extreme force against suspects of minor crimes. Larson argued this was evidence of Nelson's attitude towards policing and showed a pattern or plan that led to the killing of Sari. The incident show had a uh, pattern of using extreme violence, including the use of his taser, chokeholds, and leaden, his canine, Named Cohen attacked people for minor crimes. Charged with murder right there. Here's some of the comments that these people get on some of their stories. Vega Bon. What are you, you know, like a vegetarian? I don't know. Good riddance. I actually thought he already died. My parents were hippie bikers. Uh, <laughs> fully in hippie bikers, really? Fully entrenched in the Harley lifestyle. They ate up all the Hells Angels stuff they could find. We would watch the TV docs about them and they treated it like here are some cool dudes who went against the man. They really stood for something. Unlike most of you people, they do. Honor, respect, patriotism. 
almost like hero worship. That whole upbringing is one of the reasons I love cars and bikes and all manner of motorized things right away, but it is absolutely jarring to learn at a young age whose people they uh, who those people truly were. <laughs> Gen goes, my parents aren't as great as I thought. That's the way most of the uh, younger generations think, don't it? <laughs> oh my god, and there's a bunch of other stuff. Uh, calling them a, basically a violent Gene Sizz, uh, Simmons. Thousands of boomer Harley riders with an unhealthy obsession with Sons of Anarchy are in mourning. Another one, good, make his grave into a urinal that drains directly into his coffin. A.C. Slater. That's what these people bring out. Pe bring out people who have no idea what bikers do, what club members do. For the community as a whole. Half of them comment and right now probably don't do a damn thing for their community. Again, let your thoughts be known. Contact the editor of this publication. I'll put the link in the description box. And it's by Aaron Marquis. As you can see, cops, they will always bang on clubs. But you know what? They ain't innocent either. They ain't innocent. We're going to go to the second half of the show right now with China Dow. Sad state of affairs, man. The last member of Easy Company with the Band of Brothers has just died. Uh, he was real instrumental to help push that uh, series. We're going to talk a little bit more about uh, this story uh, with uh, Sonny, with China Dow. Going to be a good second segment. We'll be right back after this music break. Thanks for joining this segment of Insane Throttles Motorcycle Madhouse. You can hear the full show on all major podcast platforms. And you know what? I really thank you for sticking to the whole end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and watch another one on me. Rock on. <laughs> 